Good. Good. So what went into Wow, well, a lot went into making this game happen. Um, it started off with the idea of an occupied America. Okay. And it got really complicated with the occupiers on. Right? And it felt kind of like, you know, the Russians are kind of 80s, that's kind of tired. The Chinese are America's factory, their business. They're, we do all kinds of business with them. They're not particularly threatening these days. So who's kind of belligerent and has the fourth largest army in the world, the largest special forces right now, and what would they be like in 2027 with the North Koreans? So in writing that scenario, we actually went to Washington and worked with some of our friends in D.C. to create the scenario you see in the backstory trailer, how they get from now to America in 2027. Yeah, I wrote it. <laughs> so you're not a big gamer, I overheard you say. I'm not a big gamer. I do like them, though. I'm not, you know, one of those people that just stays away from it at all times. It's cool. I support my dad. He's a big gamer. Okay. And do you have a favorite one right now? Is there anything that you sit down? No, I'm really looking forward to the friend, though. I think it sounds like a really cool game. Even though a little dark in my taste, but I think it sounds really cool. Okay. And this is your Father's Day celebration today? Yes, it is. Okay, last. What are you wearing and why did you choose that? You look amazing. Well, I'm wearing a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, my Who dad is more thankful that he's not wearing the shoes he had on before. Oh, go ahead. Go off of my shoes. Um, I'm wearing Zephyr.